All I wanted, all I wanted was a night off. That's what being black is about, Brian. You don't get a night off. You know what? Yeah, I'm never going to be on the right side of the war going on inside your head because I'm not black. All right? I'm never going to be black. So maybe this isn't what you want. Maybe it just isn't going to work. Maybe it's not. <laughs> He knows it. <laughs> Look at him. Mm -hmm. He knows it. Oh, wow. That, that was intense. intense. Yeah. Hey guys, today we are going to be doing a video called Mixed Race Couple Reacts to the Movie Something, Something New. New. It's actually one of Jory and I's favorite um, movie, mm -hmm. uh, interracial couple movie. We thought it would be a perfect treat for you guys to get an idea of how accurate it is, like the portrayal of an interracial relationship mm -hmm. and the relationship that surrounds their relationship. Does mm -hmm. that make yeah, sense? Yeah, like the family. Family, and friends, and things yeah. like that. Mm -hmm. So, let's get to it. Oh. Hey, King of this is fabulous. Okay, let's get down to business. business. We're the brothers. Yeah. Thank you. Where's the eye uh -oh. candy? Uh -oh. Ooh, Ooh. Gotta keep on honey. <laughs> okay, Shantae. Oh. oh my God. And that is why we are the 42.4%. What? 42.4% of black women have never been married. I read that article. It didn't say we'd never get married. It just said we have yet to. Okay, so when is it going to happen in the afterlife? Please. <laughs> well, even if 42.4% of us never get married, that still means 57.6% of us will, and that's a substantially greater percentage. Thank you. This number's clean. It's very impressive. However, those odds are completely against us. It says the phenomenon is most acute among African-American women who are educated professionals. Judge, accountant, banker, pediatrician, that BS. I'm just tired of being classified as a victim. Uh, I was reading an article that in 2021, I'll link it below, <clears throat> where they actually found that the more educated you are, so bachelor, master, doctorate, you have a higher probability of getting married as mm. a black woman. So mm. let that sink in. <laughs> All right, that'd be fine with me. They could pay oh, single me. black professional woman <laughs> destined to be unhappy and alone. I mean, I just have to keep believing. I'll find the one. True. I don't even need all that. I just want a good brother. That's right. He doesn't have to make a lot of money so long as he's got a job. Yes, oh, yes, he just has to be yes. taller than me, college educated, and not crazy. No kids, good teeth, mm -hmm. and no kinky sex. I mean, I like to switch it up a bit, but you know, what? You're doing it again. The list, Kenya, the list. You know what? You should have stayed with Rashid Mahal. I couldn't do the, the Muslim chauvinist thing. Whatever, girl. Rashid was fine, okay? Oh, I would have been a bean pie eating, <laughs> mosque going, walking five steps behind his behind, wearing a burqa. <laughs> Listen, I've been listening to this new CD by Dr. Lawanda Phillips. Now, she says if we keep hanging on to this preconceived notion of, of what we think we want, that we're actually cutting ourselves off from our universal abundance. Mm. See, we hold on so tight to this image that we have of our IBM. Ideal black man. Oh. That means you, Kenya. No more lists. Mm. Let go. Let flow. That's right. Yes, and it's a whole lot better than keep hope alive. <laughs> You know, I think you kind of did that before what? you met me. I sure did have a list. No, I mean, you had a list, but you kind of let go. You're like, I let go at the fact like, that you had to be black. You're like, I'm going to college. I'm not focused on a guy. Well, it wasn't a black or white thing. It was just like a not focused on trying to get a dude. No, but I did have a list. And on that list, I said he has to be black. Yeah. So I, I ticked most of the things on the list. Yes, majority just not, of them. Just, just not, not that. I was like, just not the melon man. He, well, you like the, <laughs> it was just white chocolate, and it's actually my favorite chocolate. <laughs> so it worked out just fine. But yeah, I definitely had a list. Like, there's nothing wrong with having standards, but it's something wrong if you're like nitpicking. I don't know if that, right. like, my list wasn't like, he had to have straight teeth. Let, let me tell you the problem with having a list of your perfect person. Yeah. When you realize <laughs> that this breaking news for everyone is that no one is perfect. perfect. Yeah. What happens? Yeah. Your world comes crashing down. Yeah. That's so, true. Yeah. I mean, you should maybe have some things that you want that you value. Mm-hmm. Um, but it shouldn't be like silly stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, I didn't have like I said had good teeth and all that stuff. Like yeah. 
like he has to, he has to be a Christian. <laughs> like I I did want a taller guy. Like I'm not gonna lie, I did put the thing there. Like <laughs> has to be a good provider and other things. I'm not gonna share. Yeah. But um, oh. <laughs> <laughs> you were <laughs> wow, Dory. But you like yeah, I told I totally had a list. I would want my daughters to make a list, okay, and take it to the Lord. But I've <laughs> I've told them like what is most important in choosing you look really good honey oh thank you you're welcome sorry you're sweet i just saw the camera you got to look at the camera to notice well you're beside me so but i could see <laughs> the front view thank you i appreciate it <laughs> <laughs> comment down below if you like the may short hair oh honey <laughs> thank you but um I, I i will know what to tell my girls to focus on but i mm -hmm. definitely don't feel like it's wrong having a list. Do no, you? No, okay. No. Did you have a list? In your maybe, head, maybe? Maybe in my head. Like requirements? Probably. I think subconsciously I would have been, like, someone that didn't agree with my faith. Yeah. Would have been a big one. Problematic. Yeah. I think, I think like, a, as far as attractiveness, I was just attracted to you for sure. Period. But I didn't have a list of things like this feature, this. Period. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think I had an official list. No? No. That's good. I did. <laughs> so, yeah, having a list wouldn't have been something I, I would have done. Aww. Why did you pick me? You why? Were, you were awesome. I was awesome. You said, why did I pick you? So I that takes awesome. us back to you're the right, time. You're right, you're right. I'm not, it doesn't. Rashid. I'm <laughs> walking five steps behind him wearing a burqa. <laughs> She is awesome. You wouldn't be waiting for someone by any chance. Someone named Brian. Why? I'm him. I'm Brian, actually. Are you Kenya? Brian. Should we sit? Um, sure. Let's see if we can find a table. Great. How you doing, brother? Magic treating you okay? Never met him. <laughs> oh. They're all taken. So. Oh, here's one. Just here. Girl, you are wearing those dreads. All right. Uncomfortable? No. Oh, why would you say that? Well, you're, you're talking to strangers, making sure everyone knows you're down. I promised my girlfriends I'd be more open. But not this open. You know what? It, it, it was really great meeting you. But um, I kind of need to get going. I've got a crazy week coming up. So much work to do. But really, it was really... Nice meeting you. Nice meeting. Yeah, really. You too. Really. Oh, really? Guys. I think I could have... I don't think I could have done I gotta that. pause it. I gotta oh, pause oh, it. I gotta pause oh, it. Man. I he is well, oh, I mean I know it's, it's a, a movie. movie. It's a movie. <laughs> but, I, there's no way I could have handled that rejection like that. But I like but that he saw everything. Yeah, I like that he like just calls her out yeah, like for nervous. what she's doing. You know <laughs> this? Like you trying to act <laughs> like you down. Yeah. Did you feel like I did that at all when we went out? Like no. I was talking to black no. folks. And, yeah, I, I don't know. I, no, but you were around all kinds of people growing up. Yeah, I think that helps. And <clears throat> it's so sad. Like, you know, I mean, it works out. But, like, it's so sad because it's like you don't know until you give yourself permission to see if this is a good person. Yeah. Um, instead, yeah, she's still really good. Yeah, she was yeah. just like, Ugh, Yeah, this like, ain't where I'm headed. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, you know, you know the jokes that have come out of this. <laughs> right. And, the, like, she and her girls were already talking about their IBM. You know? so, and yeah. so it's like, no, no, that's not IWM. Yeah. Let's get it right. <laughs> oh, comment down below what you thought about that scene. Mm -hmm. Yes, boy. <laughs> <laughs> so should I talk now or not? Yeah, we can talk. So pause my it. thought is like, this guy does landscaping all the time. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. Why is he using strictly manual? picks and eyebrows <laughs> and stuff like y'all can get some to show his cause, cause you can get some power tools and not do all that nonsense like 
<laughs> it's a movie. I get it. But, yeah, yeah, yeah. But like if like it showed a, a woman's a really rich woman's yard that he had done earlier. Yeah, right? that's yeah. how Kenya finds out. Finds about out. Him. Yeah. So it's like. He's doing some big jobs. Yeah. He's got to have like a skid loader or like some some power you know, tools. He, you know, they got to show mini his muscles excavator too. Or something. He's trying to show his muscles <laughs> I too. Hear, okay, uh, maybe it's that. Would you know? would you have done it like that if if I had hired you to come over to my house? Would you? And you I would have been too nervous. I think. I think yeah. I would have been. I probably would have been like, wow, they're attractive or whatever. But yeah. you like, I would have thought you were hot. But I would have been too nervous to like. Try and show That's up. what I was gonna say. Like he's very <laughs> around here <laughs> in um Indiana. Indiana. Um like the white dudes around here, unless they're flavored, as I would like to call them. Um it depends on what area of Indiana, sweetie. This is true. That's what I'm saying. We're talking about like this conservative but, but area. But what I'm saying is if they're unless they're flavored, mm -hmm. but you're kind, which is like very proper, <laughs> yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like yep. Uh, you would have been way too nervous to even like talk to me. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So this, I think it's a bit of stretch because he, he ain't got no flavor in him. Like he's khaki wearing <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> boots. This guy, you mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. Like there's the similarities are pretty unique. Like yeah, country kind of country drives an old truck, yeah. has a dog, mm -hmm. like works in. <laughs> Works in construction, construction or landscaping. Yeah, yeah it was yeah. very much was very, uncanny. Yeah. Yeah. You ready? Yeah. yeah that's my, that's my word. Yeah. Like, that's my thing. Like, I'm out. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Hi. Hi. What's up with I and Johnny over there? Hi there. Hi. Oh, my bad. Uh, Stacy, my sister, Kenya, Kenya Stacy. It's such an honor. Really? <laughs> Here's the money for mom's birthday. Good. I got the tool for this job. You didn't tell me you were landscaping. Am I required to tell you everything? Brian, this is my baby brother, Nelson. Nice to meet you, man. Oh, what's happening? Forgive him, he was born arrogant. <laughs> it's the help. By the way, what's this I hear? Huh. You skiing the slopes. <laughs> Are you sneaking off to the OC? Are you sleeping with the enemy? Oh, my God. <laughs> so maybe somebody got it from, from that oh, movie, Sleeping With It. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Like, if yeah. you haven't watched our previous video we did mm -hmm. um, on us Most reacting our things. comments, yeah. um, that was one of them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we got that comment. But um, this interaction cracked me up because I, like, I remember when I told... My siblings started finding out that I was <laughs> hanging out with the white dude. I remember one of my brothers going, uh, what did he say? Benjamin, really? A white dude? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I mean, we thought maybe basketball player, you know, football player. A white dude? <laughs> <laughs> so there was that. There, you know, I, I see similarities here between me and one of my brother, for sure. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I think I know which one. Yeah. <laughs> Just like. The really? outspoken one. Yeah. yeah. Um, I, I, I've never heard skiing the, what is that? Skiing, skiing the, the slope. Because it's white, snow, <laughs> snow. Oh, okay. Yeah. I, I've heard like going, you've gone to the other side. Yeah, yeah, like yeah, mm -hmm. that one. Other team, yeah. Yeah, you're yeah. playing for the other team now. Or... Yeah. Yikes. <laughs> oh, did you have any of this on your side? Uh, like any white friends? <clears throat> that I think I heard. I think at one point or another, I heard the term jungle fever. Really? Yeah. From which one? Tell I'm me. not sure. I don't, I don't remember exactly. <sighs> Is it one of the four that I met? Maybe. I don't Joy's remember. The jungle fever. <laughs> I didn't know. Why did I tell you that? Blind date. Blind, that is wrong. My sister should be going out on a blind date with a white boy Shh. in the, no, cause you are not that desperate. What is the matter with you? I just don't want everyone knowing my business. This is so <sighs> awesome. Your first very own house. Thank you. Can I use the little girl's room? Yeah, it's right through there. Can we put the white boys on hold for tonight? 
the white folks, the brothers, the sisters, all of them. What are you saying? Just not tonight, babe. I, you know, I had a rough day too. Yeah, I can't. I, I need to get home. Can. Comment down below if you can feel the tension. You're asking me to not talk about race? No, I didn't say that. You expect me to be in this relationship with you and never bring it up? What? We, we talk about it all the time. I just said, not right now. When? When is appropriate? When we're at home behind closed doors, when we're just joking about it? No, just not all the time, all right? It just makes me feel uncomfortable. I'm sorry that I wasn't brought up that way. First of all, you don't have to talk about being white because no one reminds you every day that you're white. The only time you guys know you're white is when you're in a room full of black people. I'm in a room full of... I'm in a world full of white people and every day they remind me that I'm black. And if I can't talk to you about my frustrations, if I'm just supposed to keep that uh, to myself... Kenya, you, well, you, you're a senior manager at one of the whitest firms oh. in the country, all right? You graduated top of your class from Stanford and Wharton, for Christ's sakes. You own a home, you earn more money than what? 98% of the country, black or white. Certainly more than me. So, you know, tell me about your frustrations, because no. I'm listening. No, no, you don't want to hear it. it you don't want to hear about how when I show up at an account meeting, they always have to regroup when they find out I'm the one who's responsible for their multi-million dollar acquisition. They'd rather trust it to a file clerk, the guy who gets me my goddamn coffee, because he's white. Do you know how insulting yeah, that is? They're jerks. Forget them, baby. They're jerks. jerks. They have nothing to do with us. What? They have nothing to do Brian, with us. Brian, if I can't talk to you about the black shit that drives me crazy or the white shit that drives me crazy, if I'm just supposed to keep that to myself, Brian, and deny who well, I am. I've never asked you to deny anything. All I wanted, all I wanted was a night off. That's what being black is about, Brian. You don't get a night off. You know what? Uh, I'm never going to be on the right side of the war going on inside your head because I'm not black. All right? I'm never going to be black. So maybe this isn't what you want. Maybe it just isn't going to work. Maybe it's not. <laughs> he knows me. <laughs> Look at him. Oh. Wow. That That's was intense. intense. Yeah. Comment? <laughs> Um, I see a lot of the ignorance I probably had in him. Yeah, go ahead. Not, not understanding what it's like to wear your skin and be judged for it. Mm-hmm. Well, uh, yeah, yeah. But we didn't really talk about race. You mean your family growing up? No, you and, you and I. I yeah. Did we did we have conversa like I personally and you can, you know, tell me if I'm wrong, I don't remember coming home like when I had my little side jobs here and there and going, Oh, like I was There were things treated. There was there were things that happened to you that seemed like they were race related, like the nail salon. No, I'm talking about like work like work, work related. related. I don't, I, I don't personally don't, I don't remember know. like work right. related, no, but like, so. yeah, getting my nails done, my hair braided, like yeah. from both sides. I got them from both yeah. sides. I think, I think there's like definitely some things you can see there where mm -hmm. like, and she makes, you know, in the video, they make really good points. I have to remember it's a movie. Like, yeah. <laughs> some of the stuff she's saying, it's like, yeah, like you don't get a break. You're, no. you're you're constantly being reminded mm -hmm. that you're a different skin color and you know th assumptions are made about you mm -hmm. and yeah and he doesn't see that he doesn't get it you know but i can see it i can understand why it could be tiring like speaking on the same topic over right. and over but, and and over again yes she can't we can't help but, our skin color right we can't help it right but i'm saying the um talking about it all the time mm -hmm. I feel like only will end up separating like huh. your relationship huh. because for me I personally cannot watch movies like Roots I just there's I can't because for and it's something I've told you or like uh, what's the other one Django Unchained Black Black Year 12 Years Slave oh or 12 something. Years a Slave yeah, yeah like yeah because I know what those movies do to me emotionally, right. like towards white people. Right, the mistreatment. Like, yeah, right. like 
Yeah, you'll get done watching that and you'll like look at like, me different. Yeah, yeah. like be angry. <laughs> yeah. And it's just like, he, he didn't do that to me. Right. Like he didn't cause this. But it's okay. I do think it's me. okay to understand the amount of pain that's there for black Well, folks. yeah, I mean, and you do a good job at listening and going like, oh my word, or like, I feel yeah. horrible. This is horrific and stuff like that. So he's definitely not standing there defending anything. He's just kind of like ready to listen to any outbursts <laughs> I might need to have or I just, whatever. When he was like, she was like, when? When is it appropriate? He's yeah. like... Just not now. It makes me feel what you uncomfortable. Say? Uncomfortable. I'm like, oh, you poor thing. <laughs> you feel uncomfortable. Um, yeah. You don't have any idea what yeah. uncomfortable, uncomfortable is. Uncomfortable yeah. is like, yeah. When I when I need to like have a moment, I do have it. And for me, it's always geared towards like Christianity, because <laughs> like it's it's confusing for me to see people of faith right. Uh, act, claim to. behaving this way yeah. if it was yeah. someone that didn't know christ i'm yeah. like eh, you don't bother me as right. much but it's so confusing when it's right. like oh i love jesus it's right. like someone who's created a persona I where every you yeah. love jesus where everyone thinks they're perfect yeah and a perfect follower of the lord yeah and then they're doing this shady stuff it's yeah messed up so it's, that yeah. that is the aspect i come at it from yeah. um I'm not ignorant to it. I can pick it up real fast. But um, yeah, I don't. I don't feel like I've never heard Jory say this is uncomfortable. Like, let's stop talking about it. No, we go there. Yeah, I, we I think to. I think that scene did a really great job. They did of pulling out some actual feelings, thoughts, mm-hmm. and conversations that mm-hmm. happen about mm-hmm. race mm-hmm. in an interracial couple. Especially during the 2016 to 2020, that election year, y'all. Oh, yeah. There was, there's, yeah Jesus there was is Lord. That's messing. all I'm going to say. Yeah. Guys, if you enjoyed that reaction video, go check out this other video we did for you. And yeah. keep looking, looking up. up.